So these kids last year, thanks to funding from the Lower McCullough River Partnership, were able to actually go down stream and go to the bay on board a marine science research vessel and spend four hours doing a fish study, a plankton study, mud study, and water study. Came back from that trip and the kids decided upon themselves that they were going to start a cleanup patrol at um, Heritage School because the streets of Lodi drain to the river. So at the end of last school year they asked if they could do a legacy project, leave something behind here at the campus for the future generations to learn from. First they had to brainstorm and draw their, their creature, or their idea on paper and then they used that as a stencil. They laid it on top of the clay and then they use a tool to outline the shape and then cut down and like, a, like you would make cookies, create this cookie cutter piece of clay and then you use your tools and put some designs into it. And So they've come up with creatures that live in the San Francisco Bay or somewhere in the McCullamy River. Um, all sorts of fanciful things. And then the, the next step, of course, after it dries in the sun for a bit, is to put these glazes on. So what you're seeing here now today are the glazed pieces. And then um, the next step will be to actually um, mount these on a five-foot diameter piece of Wonder Board and create the, the mural. And then Donna will take it back to her studio and actually fire it, finish it, and then bring it back down to install it. Here at Heritage School, right at the, in the central breezeway the, where the campus comes and goes all day long and day and night, we want the neighborhood to understand that their streets, especially their streets, they're only about a mile and a half from the McCullamy River and, and they, when the rains start in the next couple of weeks, um, whatever's on these streets is going to end up in the river. So we're hoping the mural communicates to this community that um, they need to be involved in being, being better stewards, earth keepers, whatever you want to call them, um, uh, caretakers of, of the watershed that we live in.